Okay, so we're gonna do this in real time. Nothing fancy about this video, no affiliate links or anything like that. I'm just gonna show you how to build a proper rig and how to get the best out of it, okay? I've seen some rigs online and they just look unbalanced, wires everywhere and bits and pieces hanging off. It's not what you want. You want something sleek, designed well, well balanced when you hold it and most importantly, good quality but cheap. And yes, in this case, you can get them in the same sentence. So. On the camera at the moment, you can see we've got the M50 here, okay? This is a little eyepiece which I built here, and this is basically for Canon 500D, 550D, etc. They don't make one for the M50, okay? So I had to make this myself. This, I just got a piece of plastic, measured it to the side of the hot shoe, stuck it down, and, and then now I can slide it in, and now I've got a viewfinder, okay? This is on eBay at £2.50. £2.50 for this little device here, okay? If you're holding it and you want a, a, another point of contact, you've got a handle on this side, a handle on this side from the cage, and then another one on your eye. Very good for, con for three points of contact and very slim down. And that brings me to the second item, which is this handle here. This is a Camvate handle. This Camvate handle, yeah, costs £17.99. $17.99. Now, when you go on eBay from the link which I'm gonna send you, this one is gonna be brown, but I've sprayed it black and put a bit of uh, lacquer on it because I wanted it to match the camera. But $17.99 for this handle. The cage which we have on top here is the U-Rig cage, okay? I had the small rig cage and there was a few problems with it which I didn't like. Firstly, whenever you put the camera on and then you're using it for a little while, it comes loose. I got in touch with Small Rig. The way that they told me to do it was to mount the camera upside down whilst holding it tight and then screw this in. That did work, but I still ended up getting rid of it and getting the U-Rig cage. The U-Rig cage, I paid 32 pounds for it, but now the price has gone up a slight inflation up to 40 pounds. But I would still say this one is better than the Small Rig because the finish for one is much better. Secondly, the Arca Swiss here, goes all the way to the end. Now, this isn't a problem if you've got a big Arca Swiss tripod, which you can just put it on and, and then screw up. But if you've got one of those travel tripods, which you need to slide in from the side because they don't open as, as wide, this one, trust me, it will save you from digging up your tripod and digging up your case, and you can just slide it in from the side and screw it down. And thirdly, the price is, is a lot cheaper. And I put this in once, screwed it in, and it hasn't come loose in months since the day I've, I've put it on. Probably in about four or five months now. So that's the U-Rig uh, cage there for the M50. And um, finally, what you can see, this little thing hang hanging over here, this is a right angle HDMI, which is plugged into the micro HDMI um, socket here on the M50. Now, I don't like this one personally because the, the HDMI goes down. I've ordered another one that comes up because it will slot in better and I won't have to touch the wire in there. So you order a left angle one, I believe it is, yeah, left angle, which goes up and that will cost you, it's about £4.95 maximum you should be paying for that. And that goes to a full size HDMI. Right, let me just put that to the side a sec and then go through the other um, items and then we'll start building it in, in, in real time. This here is the small rig NPF plate. Now this is a, um, a small rig uh, battery plate which takes Sony NPF batteries. And we've got a dummy battery here, that's my own sticker on there. So what you would do, this cable would come in a pack from AliExpress and that should be just under six, seven pounds for those two. And this you would get in a pack from eBay. Um, so it would be this um, plate, it would come with a cable like this but it's fat on both sides and then it comes with this shape this bracket here but this comes in like a L shape I've bent it this shape and I'll show you the reason why I've bent it this way so seven about eight pounds for this um, this here sometimes they can go up to about 13 pounds it's always up and down so just expect to pay about 13 pounds and then we've got the the dummy battery here okay so that's those two then 
Next, I've got a handle by U-Rig. Now, this one has got the Arri locking pins. So if you've got the U-Rig cage or the small rig cage, this one, when you put it in and you, and you screw it down, it's gonna lock in perfectly and won't be able to jiggle left to right. And it's also got the um, 15 millimeter rod, um, just like the small rig handle as well. Um, but this one only costs 17 pounds. Now, a lot of people have put on other, other handles which you have to do up with Allen keys and all that kind of stuff. Forget all that. My only tools which I use when I'm out on, to, on the street is these here, which is two coins, a 20 pence piece or a five pence piece. That's all I need to build my rig. If I have to bring out tools and all that kind of stuff, then to me, it's not, it's not, it's not right. It's not ergonomical. You need, you need something that is easy to strip up and, and put down. Here, we are looking at a five inch monitor. This is a Yo-Yo monitor. And this one, actually, I got it on an eBay deal. So by the time, when I got it and put some codes in and stuff, it was only about 68 pounds. I've checked the price recently and this has gone up to 100 pounds. Now this uh, monitor has everything you could think of, every single feature. You've got false color, focus peaking, cinema bars. Um, it just has literally everything. It's 4K, it takes a, it's a full HD, um, 1000 to 1 contrast ratio, has HDMI in and out. Unfortunately for us guys with, that, with the M50, the earpiece isn't going to do anything because the, the M50 doesn't do uh, audio monitoring. So uh, that sucks, but this is a fantastic monitor. Now, I've seen some people talk about, you know, um, Shinobi monitors and, and whatever, small HD. In honest, my honest opinion, guys, you do not need one of those monitors if you're using it solely for the M50. It is a complete waste of money. The only reason why you probably want to spend more money is to get something that has got higher nit brightness than this. Now, this one is only about 400 nits, okay? But you've got the sun hood that comes with this in the box. So if, you, if you're outside and then the sun's blinding the screen, you've got the brightness up to the max, you can't see it, pop the sun hood on, tilt it back a bit, you're good to go. If you want something a bit more expensive, you've got to focus on the nits. If you're going up to 800, 1000 nits, you'll be able to see that standing in front of the sun because that's where you know the nits make all the difference. This is 400 nits. I use this on the M50. The EOS M, my black magic, no problem with this one, absolutely fine. As I said, if it's too sunny, I'd put the sunshade on. Every single feature you could want is gonna be on this monitor. It doesn't have touch screen, but when you're doing video, the only things you're really gonna change are ISO, um, maybe white balance and shutter speed, but those things can be done by the buttons anyway. The M50 is kind of, once you set your camera to do your scene, you kind of just set it and do it. You can press the menu button and still see what you're doing on the screen. So you don't really need touch screen anyway. So there's no point in spending vast amounts of money, 300, 400 pounds on a monitor, or even anywhere up to 200 pounds because it's just a waste of money. And then you start putting all that together and then next thing you know, you could have bought yourself another six M50s or a Canon EOS R or something like that. So that's the um, EOYO monitor. Then we're gonna talk about mic. So everyone knows the Boyer mic. It's kind of a rip off of the uh, Rode video mic. Um, it's a decent mic, but I, to be honest, I probably will be exchanging this for a Rode. This one cost me about 17 pounds on eBay as well, and it's a decent, um, it's a decent mic. All right, so we've got all the stuff there, and now let's build it. And then while we're building, I'm just gonna talk as well, okay? So, what I wanted to show you first, I said, as I said, we've got my only tool which I carry on the street is gonna be um, a, a coin. Now, as you can see, mine hasn't got the quick release screws on the handle here. So all I have to do is just get a coin and then I can loosen that up. As you can see, I can loosen it up and then I can just take it off if I wanna take photos or whatever. And this is the whole point about when you're doing a rig is that you want something that is so easily dismantled, that can easily dismantle that whether you're taking video or photo, it doesn't matter. So there, that is my coin which I use to do up my handles. And secondly, we'll put on the, um, the U-Rig uh, handle here. So that just goes on and as you can see, it screws. No Allen keys, no nothing, just screw it. Screw it on as tight as you can and then yeah, good to go. Then we'll put in the dummy battery and then run the cables. So dummy battery, as you know, would go underneath the bottom here. And let me put this in now. So dummy battery goes in, pull down the flap. And what I do is I run the small end underneath the bottom of the cage here to tuck it away neatly, plug this in, put this down, 
run this underneath there, and then, now you remember when I told you I've got this small rig handle and it's got the U shape? What we do is we pop this in here, and you can see it there, kind of got this ball bearing little thing there, and it just pops in, and then we just clip it to the back of the handle, and that's it, done. Okay, and then we can just pop in our battery, our NPF battery, and then plug this uh, cable straight into the bottom. And that's it, and then we now have power. And then depending on which kind of batteries you want, you can either go for a big size NPF if you want, or you can just go for a small one like I've got in. This is 2,600 milliamp battery. I've got two of them here, one on the back of the monitor and one on the back of the, um, the camera. These cost me about £27 and they come with a charger, a single charger. Okay, so that's that done. So power sorted. Monitor. Here's the monitor. We've got um, a little base on the bottom here. And let me show you another one actually because this is the one I, I, I recommend that you buy. This is the V-Ledge. And cost, you, you can get this for about eight quid on eBay. It's just a, a, a nice looking mount here with a, a quarter 20 screw, okay? So that is the one there. I've got the small rig one on here, but you don't need the small rig one. So that will just clip onto the front right here and then screw it down, done. We'll take our HDMI cable. Let's go, let's wrap it underneath. Wrap it underneath and then clip it in and then that is it. And then we can put the mic on, screw the mic down and then plug the mic in and there you go, all done. That is your rig, no problem. Nice light rig, perfectly balanced. So if I hold that with my middle finger now, you can see it's perfectly balanced. It's not gonna swing forward even with this big lens, it is perfectly balanced. And that's what you want, okay? An easy to set up rig. Okay, so you've seen my MPF clip here with the Sony battery and the small rig plate. Imagine if you wanted something a bit more sturdy, if you're running around and you wanted something that just didn't clip in. Then I'm gonna show you another way. Here's your Sony plate, and you can see the quarter 20 thread there. Get one of these here, which is just your normal cold shoe, screw in, quarter 20 screw. Let's remove this, take that off, take this out. We then slide this into the back of the, into the, back of the handle. This has got the uh, little roller on here, so you can tighten things up without having to get all crazy and start spinning it all around. So what I like to do is just tighten it up first, and then give it one final spin until it gets really tight and it's at the top. Now, I can just grab my NPF battery and slot that in. And there you go, we have power. Okay, and again, still perfectly balanced on the, um, on the, end, on the rig. A little bit heavy now on the back end because I've got this up rather than down, facing downwards, but you can see the, um, the gist of what I'm getting at. Now, lighting. Let's say we wanted to put some light on the front here. You're thinking, where can I put the light? Easy. Undo the um, monitor, slide it up, Bend this back a little bit. Let's put the monitor in the top. Push it right back so I can see. Grab your, your light, whichever light you've got. Screw that in to the V-Ledge mount. So everything what you have here is gonna have multiple uses. I can then slot that in the front here. Let's get that in there. Let's move the monitor out of the way a little bit. And now I can then put my light up the top here and then turn my light on. If I wanted to say have it at the side to get a side cast, put it at the side here, and then I can move it, you know, wherever I want to and change the direction of the light. And these lights are some 12 pound LED lights, which I got from eBay as well. But you can use obviously whichever kind of lights you got. So like I said, when you're building your rig, you must have it so modular and so easy to put together and take apart with Pretty much no tools if you can get away with it. The least tools you have to use, the better it is for you when you're building it up. Now, I don't, I can't remember if I said it or not, but this rig, everything you see here cost me 250 pounds. 250 pounds, which you build up time over time, is not that much money to spend on, on a Canon M50, and you'll have your Canon M50 looking like a proper pro rig. Not big handles hanging out and cables flying everywhere and lights put on the top. You don't want that. You want a nice, clean build, okay? And now, just for the sake of the video, I'm gonna break this down again and then get back into, into normal battery mode for photos. Okay, so what we're gonna do first is undo the, Undo the plate here. 
once I've got it loose enough, I can just uns I can like screw that off. And then let me take this off as well. And get rid of that, get rid of those. Let's take off the monitor. And get rid of that. This time I'm gonna take the HDMI out. Let's take off the mic. And let's take out the dummy battery. And then obviously you could change your dummy battery for a normal battery. Let's take off the handle. And you're pretty much ready to go now in photo mode. Or just go one step more and just quickly take off your side handle. Now you can, like I said, you can get ones with a quick release. And obviously those are gonna be much easier to do because you'll be able to do those with your fingers. But me personally, I went for this one mainly because it was one of the, mainly because it was one of the first ones I, I saw to be honest and um yeah it was um it was cheap it was a bargain so um yeah it was um it was a bargain basically so i got it like that but if you want to go for a different one then just go for one that you can easily undo with your fingers and then you don't need any tools and in fact the one i'm going to link in the in the description is going to be with the um easy easy removable so you can just do it with um without any tools or coins or whatever. Just got to get my hand underneath this bit, just so I can lift the screw enough to get the, the grip on the side. And then I can remove this. And there you go. Now you're back in photo mode and your only tool was, a, was, a, was, a, was with a coin. And that was probably the hardest thing that you're going to have to do if you, want to, if you want to take off the handle if you don't have a quick release one. So in my opinion, that is the ultimate M50 rig. This could also work for the EOS M, as I said before, because I usually put the EOS M in, in the M50 cage sometimes, but this will be getting its own cage soon, which is the M100 cage, which I just ordered from Small Rig. Um, and we're gonna do another build on that one. But let me know what you think. Um, let me know if you have any comments. And yeah, I mean, just any comments. Just tell me what you want. Tell me what you think of the rig and, and what you think of the build. Do not spend a lot of money, guys. All of the parts, what you need are in the description. End of story, done.